when you're working with this feature, the primary way that I use to verify that it's working properly and it's doing what I want it to do is to, to go in and look at just about just the eyeball the individual flows. So look at the flow details and the, the, the flow detail thing you're looking for is what you see on the screen here, the best internet link choice reason. Um, there are a variety of different options. Most of them are pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Um, this one here says in-house metric. That is um, a little confusing. That's auto. Of course, there are different different ones you could see here. It might say MOS if you have your uh, rank order set to MOS. It might say loss or whatever. Um, there are some other options. Like, for instance, if all your tunnels da are down and everything is down completely on the WAN side, you have no IPSLAs up, you have no tunnels up, you're getting to the, the edge connect through management zero, you'll see this. Now, I know a lot of you have seen this um, uh, many times, dropped due to overday internet policy. That typically, what that means is that there's no label. There's no way to get to the internet. I can't backhaul. I can't, uh, I don't have a, um, a local breakout label available. I have no options whatsoever to get to the internet. My only option as an SD-WAN appliance is to drop the flow. Now you'll see here that under best internet link choice reason it says uh, MOS was the me mechanism we chose to rank of course, it doesn't have much impact here because we're not even getting a MOS score because we have no primary link, no backup link, and we're going to fall back to next policy. But when we fall back to next policy, there's no tunnel. So there's simply nothing else to do, and we end up dropping the flow. Uh, for more global reporting, or looking at things at a, in a larger scale, the overlay interface transport report is the best, it's the best one. It's actually the only one currently, the only real way to look at what the best local breakout feature is doing for you. Um, you want to set it up just the way you see it on the screen here. So, so pick one day or four hours. Um, one day does per minute resolution. Um, pick line, go to overlay and interface, and then make sure the flip option is turned off and then pick an overlay. In this case, the way we read this chart is to say that the be, uh, best local breakout mechanism is preferring INET A all the time, almost all the time. If you look closely, you can see that there's a little period right here around 1600 where INET B got used for a bit. Um, real quick, session affinity, pretty straightforward. What it does uh, solves the problem of some e-commerce applications don't like it when you switch IPs on them. What this feature does is it says, all right, for every source destination pair, stick to the same label for each flow between those two hosts. And it's just, it's not based on port, it's just source, it's two tuple, source destination IP address. It's, that's it, right? So as long as there's a flow active between, in this case, let's say 1051.5 and 23.185.0.2, any new flow between these two hosts will always use INET A until, um, until all the flows are inactive. After two minutes, I think is what it, what it is, the affinity state mechanism falls out. And so after a few minutes, if 1051.5 connects to 23.185.0.2, then we'll go through the best local breakout decision again, and we'll pick, you know, maybe we pick B this time. And then all the flows between these two hosts stick to B, as long as those two hosts are talking to each other you will see a lot session dash affinity as the best internet link choice reason. Um, and this can be a little frustrating because you actually can't see what the original reason for landing on INET A or B was because the, the, the original selection of, in this case, it's INET A was made several minutes ago for a different flow. All the subsequent flows between those two hosts um, fall under the reason of session affinity. Um, if the performance thresholds are violated uh, or if the 80% utilization mark is crossed, the session affinity thing is negated. It is, it is ignored for those reasons. But otherwise, we'll try to stick to the same label. Um, so we only maintain the session affinity in the context of flows within each overlay. It's a design, design decision. I think it's the right one, but it's important to know that it works that way. It's per overlay.